Hey, good to see you. We're continuing this study of nations in Scripture, and we're talking about our nation. Most of us in the Daily Hope family live in the United States. Not all, but most of us. Let me share with you our verse for today. It's Acts 17, verse 26, and it says this very simply, God made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth. And then there's this phrase, and it's what I want to point out to you today. Having determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation. So think about this. God determined that you would live right now in all of history. God had every century at his disposal, every civilization, every continent, and he chose to place you right here, right now, at this appointed time for such a time as this. God also shapes the boundaries of how far will a nation expand? How far will you ever travel in your life? God is the one who shaped all of that. I say that because for those of us who love the Christian roots of the United States, and I think it's clear that I do if you've been listening to our recent Daily Hopes, there can be a temptation to say, I, I wish I lived back when everyone went to church on Sunday, back when 98% of the population said they were Christian. And again, none of those times were perfect, but there's a temptation to say, I wish I could just rewind the clock even 20 years or 30 years when there was a bit of a moral compass. And I want to speak to that frustration that we share and I want you to submit that frustration to the plan of God for your life. God planned it out that you would live through this election at this time. He planned it out that you would be here now. And he's given you the relationships needed, the resources needed, the time, health, and energy needed for you to play your part in bringing about that eternal kingdom that cannot be shaken. And so what do we do with those frustrations? We say, God, I'm going to trust you placed me here now for a purpose. So all I have is yours, all my time is yours, my energy is yours. Show me what it looks like to be all in in bringing about your kingdom that cannot be shaken so as many of these sinners around me, and I'm one of them, as many as possible will know you, will have eternal life, and as Christianity spreads, um, lifestyles improve, healthcare improves, human rights improve. So when we advance the kingdom of God, there's eternal gain, our top priority, but there's also improvement in this life, humanitarian improvement for the people around us. So let's keep going all in for the kingdom. God planted us here now for a purpose. I'll see you tomorrow.